Welcome to Inside PS Vita, an inside look at the future of portable gaming. Coming up in this episode, we take an inside look at Play, Create, Share on the PS Vita. The more creative people can be, the more content they make for people to play, and everybody wins. So, what exactly is Play, Create, Share? Tarje Studios over in Sweden are making the next Little Big Planet game uh, for PlayStation Vita. Amongst other things, it will bring uh, uh, Create uh, using touch. We'll be able to uh, create much quicker and uh, faster using their fingers. Every single level that you see in Little Big Planet, you can create yourself using the same tools that the developer uses. So, whether you want to create movies, or you can create stories, or you can create handheld game experiences, which are going to be great for a portable device. You make a game making kit. And then the first results you're seeing are like remixing intelligence and people doing their own uh, VJing, mixing music with uh, sort of visuals and very cool stuff. So you're like, okay, th th this is bigger than we thought. The most rewarding part is just getting the tools into people's hands and watching them build things and, and seeing the joy on their faces when they realize how easy it is to make uh, the things that they want to build. Um, and also how easy it is for them to make things. As far as the Vita goes, Mod Nation was kind of built for it. I mean, it's, it's very touch integrated, and with our creation stations, uh, it just feeds right into it. We wanted to make it fast, you know, we wanted to get you in there so you draw with your finger, draw your spline out. So uh, we utilize the front and back touch screens. I just draw my finger across wherever I want to lake, boom, there it is. All right? If I want to raise mountains, as many fingers as I have, that's where it, that's what I can lift up, you know. So it's it's all right there in your hands. It's it's amazing. We have a full touch interface, so creating geometry or drawing things is as easy as doodling or drawing something with a pen. Being able to take the PlayStation Vita out and about, take photographs of objects and import them into your levels, and then use those images to decorate your own to your own games, essentially. It means that there's no limits to what you can create. You can create absolutely anything. The possibilities are limitless. We just wanted to give the user the idea that, hey, this is what you can create with this tool. So go out there. Your imagination's the limit. We put the tools into gamers' hands. They use them in ways where, actually, maybe we wouldn't allow our developers to do it because it's breaking certain rules. Well, they can do what they want. And that's how, like, with Little Big Planet, we ended up with people making first-person shooters. And I think that on PlayStation Vita, you're going to see even more weird, wonderful, wacky, odd things. And, and that's all fantastic from a creativity point of view. The thing that I'm most excited about with Vita in terms of its audio capabilities is that because of the dedicated audio processing chip it's got in it, it's really going to open the doors to game developers to create what I'm sure are going to be the best sounding handheld audio experiences to date. The community is, is really what Little Big Planet is all about. We wouldn't really be anywhere without all the fabulous creations that people, people are making and with uh, five and a half million of them out there. Um, there's a lot of uh, content for people to play and it's ever changing, ever growing. The more creative people can be, the more content they make for people to play and everybody wins. So the thing that excites me most about Play, Create and Share isn't the idea of individual play or create or share, but that when you bring all three together, you actually have a platform and an audience to reach. I love the idea that when you combine that with the portability of the Vita, you could actually create something on the way to school, and by tea time, it's been played by 10 million people. Isn't that amazing? I think Play, Create and Share is even more powerful when you have a portable platform to do it on. Don't miss the next edition when we take a look at the PS Vita's power and performance only on Inside PS Vita. We're trying to take um, the Uncharted experience and then bring it to the next level with something you could not do on the PS3. With all these touch controls, it just opens up a whole new world. I think they'll have a sense of disbelief once they see this thing running in the palm of their hands. Thanks for watching. See you next time.